Boys and girls, we have three OBD2 readers we're going to do some comparing on today. We have the Autel AL319. We have an Ansel AD310. And we have a Top Done Artilink 201. They're inexpensive. Pretty easy to use for backwoods people, people buying used cars, auto auctions, emissions checks. Um, all three of these can be purchased off Amazon. We're going to do reviews and see which one we like, you know, do different reviews about them. I'm going to open up the packages and we'll go from there. Well, guys, first one we're going to look at is the Autel AL319. They're all similar units. They all mostly have two inch screens. Um, some of them's got different functions. I'm gonna plug it into my Nissan. I do have a check engine light on. So we're gonna OBD2 reader. It says I have two codes. I got catalyst system, efficiency below threshold bank. More than likely, it's an oxygen sensor. Van does have high miles. Same code. It's a generic code, so it's not a stored code. You can see, you know, it's a PO430, and you can actually go on Google and put the codes in in your vehicle make, and it'll tell you what is actually wrong with it. Um, this particular unit will also freeze your codes and read stored codes. Um, it's got tons of different features on it. Um, most of these units are good from 96 and newer vehicles. This, this particular unit will retrieve, retrieve generic uh, POs, P2, P3, UO codes. You can clear your check engine light, but if you haven't repaired the problem, your check engine light will come back on. Um, this one is actually does you know time freeze um, codes. It's a pretty nice unit. Um, you can look you know everything. We got check marks. I do have. It does say I have two codes, which we know we do. Um, that's why I have the question mark. It's saying my callus. It won't pass emissions. Um, so that's about good for that unit. We're gonna try out another um, one of the other units we have. Well, guys, we have the second unit. It is the Ansel AD310 OBD2 and EOBO code reader. This also works on 96 and newer um, European, U.S., Asian vehicles. Um, check engine light. It re it'll read hard codes or with memories. Read uh, pending intermediate codes. So we well, got it hooked up to my van, which I know has check engine lights. So we will try it. I have two codes in this vehicle, as I showed in the video. This will actually show store codes and pending codes. So we're going to go to the store codes. I have a P0420. And I have a P0430. And it shows you, you know, catalyst system, efficiency below threshold, bank 2. 90% chance it's probably an oxygen sensor. Um, and a bank 1. Um, you can delete the codes with this system. I'm not going to delete it because I got one more review on another unit to do. So we have pending codes. We'll go to pending codes and see what comes up. Same codes. So it's a hard code. It has stored them. They only stored the bank two. Um, it does live data. Basically, this will check your monitors, all that stuff. It won't stay on long. Um, you got live freeze frames. You can, you know, freeze your stuff in your car's running. So it shows you your fuel system, your loads, your ETCs, your RPMs. That's when the vehicle's running. My vehicle is not running. Um, your spark advance. You know, it's a pretty nice machine. Um, I like this machine. It's, you know, more user friendly. Um, it's got some cool features, you know, the directions, and, you know, it's self-explanatory. It really tells you what to do and how to run it. It'd be good for even a decent small size shop 
or you know just your backyard mechanics we're gonna try the next machine I like this one it's a pretty nice machine nice handheld decent size well guys as we're doing the last OBD2 reader this is the top done Artelink 201 here's the package um, this unit you can read DTC codes clear DTC codes read MILs view freeze frame data um, I am reading this monitor status display live data O2 system test um, you can do onboard monitoring um, you can read pending codes you can get your vehicle information VIN number all that stuff this is internet upgradable um, it comes it also comes with the cord to hook up to UBS port um, we're gonna try and run codes I got an OBD2 so I got two current codes it's PO420 efficient you know threshold bank one then I have one pending code and I got a bank two that means it's a hard store code it does permanent codes, codes that your computers have stored. It's the same code, P0430, I've had with all the units. You can re re erase your codes. I'll go ahead and re erase them because we've already used it. So it'll, re it'll reset your codes. So it cleared all the codes. My check engine light is off. Um, we'll show you some of the live data. I'm going to start the vehicle. So, I mean, you can check your engine cold temperature. Mine is saying 18 degrees. It's probably about right. Well, we're going to try the data stream on this unit. Um, buttons are pretty easy to use. Um, basically anybody, I really like this machine because I'm not the smartest person in the world. But I figured out how to use it. Um, so we're going to do the data stream. So basically... It, it'll show you, you know, your fuel system one status, your fuel system two status, engine coolant, short-term fuel, you know, all four banks, your vehicle RPMs, your vehicle speed, your ignition timing, intake air temperature, airflow, throttle positioning sensor, oxygen sensor outputs. This machine's got a lot, a lot of cool features for a reasonable, you know, unit. You know, it's it's got a lot of functions. And it, it shows you, you know, your evap pressure, you know, barometric pressures, your, you know, catalyst temperatures. You know, the other units I have, you know, used myself, none of them's had this data stream with to this, you know, level. You know, a lot of them have it. I mean, it shows your engine, colon, temp, all that stuff. I really like this machine. Um, I think you guys would like it. You know, give it a try. All three units were, you know, spectacular units, but I really like, you know, the size of this machine, the functions, the buttons, you know, it's a pretty self-explanatory machine. I buy and sell a lot of vehicles. Um, I will definitely keep this machine in my vehicle. Well, guys, I did all three reviews on the OBD2 sensors. Um, I'm going to basically tell you my preference, which unit I liked, the features that I liked. Um, we all have different opinions. I'm just telling you what I like. Uh, we'll first go with the Autel AL319. A lot of good functions. I don't like the size of it. Um, it's got a really short cord, especially if you got big pickups. You know, if you want to stand outside the door, you basically got to be in the unit to work with this. Really cool unit. A lot of features. You know, decent quality. Our next unit was the Ansel AD310. Another really nice unit. 
decent sized cord. Um, it doesn't have the IM freeze buttons like the other units have. A um, little slower, I noticed downloading your data streams. Um, got a lot of cool features. I like it. Um, then we have the next unit is the Top Done Arta Link 201. I like to fill the unit in your hand. It's a little skinnier, easier to hold. It's got some really cool, you know, button features. Um, you got your freeze data. You know, it's got your yes or no. It's like everything's in there. You don't have to actually go into the unit to see everything and to read everything. It's got a really long cord. So if you want to stand outside your units, you know, some people got lifted trucks or you know lower cars. They don't want to keep squatting in and down on them. This unit's got some really, really, really cool features. Um, I personally really like this unit. Um, like I was saying in the video before, I buy and sell a lot of vehicles. Um, I get yelled at it for all the time, but hey, I'm a pack rat. Uh, it's got some really cool features, you know. All these units are available on Amazon. Um, it really depends on your preferences. You know, I really like all three units, but I like the features, the long cord length of the top done. Um, I will personally probably keep that one in my vehicle. Um, thanks for watching our video. Have a great day. Thank you. Hey, no, no, no.